Hey Sagittarius, so today we're going to go ahead and do your new love reading. So this is going to be who is the next new partner, new love coming into your life? Uh, what do you need to know about this person, the situation? How will you recognize them and know them? So this one did win the poll, so that's what we're going to do this week. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, well, there you go. Alchemy. Become the alchemist that can transform dreams and brings it into reality. We have life path. Traveling a new path may be what you have been searching for all along. And we have concealment. What was hidden from you will soon be revealed. Be observant. Bottom of the deck, we have shadow self. Confront your demons and begin untangling yourself. Beneath that is, is um, confidence here, too. So I'm definitely getting with the alchemy here. This is this is actually manifestation. So a lot of you are, are you have this wand, you know, you have this spark right now. You can become the alchemist whenever you want to really transform your dreams to bring it into reality. Some of you, your life path number might be important right now. You know, maybe you're walking your life path number. You're really following your life path here. Could also be that you are uh, becoming more interested in astrology, becoming more interested in, you know, different topics like that, because there's these, you know, symbols here too, the planets. And this could be that you're traveling a new path. Some of you are really taking this into um, your own hands here with the alchemy and you're traveling a brand new path. So if you haven't had this come in yet, you could actually be manifesting this towards you or into your life is a new path that's opening for you. So we'll see what that new path is. There's something also that something that was hidden from you will soon be revealed. I am kind of getting that in a way, it could be for some of you, your shadow self, there's something within you that it's almost like you're kind of emerging from that. There's something with this, um, you know, moth here in the darkness and the shadow self, like you're really confronting something that has been tangled within you or like a, a shadow self. So some of you could be going through some shadow work. I feel like if anything, you're coming out of it, though, you could be coming out of a shadow um, aspect of yourself where you're really removing blockages within your life here to really align you on this path. So let's get one more, actually. I want to get one more of these. What are we attracting, manifesting? Oh, okay, three more, I guess. We have fulfillment. We have romance. Yeah, we have reflection here. Unconsciously, there's a situation playing a role mirroring your inner world and we do have anger at the bottom so i am getting for some of you that this is just a message that you are on the right track right now but some of you are really i feel like you're coming out of it but depending on where you are if you find yourself in a situation that keeps repeating or there's a situation that you kind of need to reflect look in the mirror and figure out like subconsciously unconsciously why are things repeating why are things playing out this way I feel like this might be revealed to you very shortly why this has been happening, um, either on a personal level. So you could be having like epiphanies on a, on a personal level or maybe dreams, things like this that are showing you the truth. Like what is the real reason why maybe you've been stuck? And I feel some of you could be anger. You could, you could be holding on to resentment. You could be holding on to anger here. And this might be that this has unconsciously actually been manifesting a less than ideal situation for you. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is in regards to love. So it says be in love and forgiving so this higher love can come to be. So some of you are manifesting new love or you're manifesting a higher love here. And this is going to be a fulfillment. You know, you are whatever you're dreaming of, there will be a fulfillment. So you are manifesting great things towards you. And whatever has been hidden about this or whatever has been kind of in the dark about this will be coming to light in some capacity. Um, but if you find yourself a bit stuck and you're not manifesting what you want or you find yourself just kind of, um, yeah, just stuck here. It might be because you are, you know, having some uh, reflections here within yourself that are repeating. So overall, I feel like we're manifesting a new level of manifestation empowerment, you know, being able to be the alchemist, being able to be like the magician here in our lives to call this in towards us and clearing, I guess, these... Um, cobwebs here so let's see what else what else are we manifesting what are we attracting in the collective here tell me more about this energy tell me about concealment what was hidden from me will soon be revealed 
Yeah, so you look at this at the bottom, we have denial, we have letting go, and we have individuality. It says Zoe, I'm not sure who that is. Um, so a denial and individuality here. So this is why I feel for some of you, it's a subconscious thing since we did have this card. So I feel like you're becoming more yourself and because of that, you are attracting this fulfillment towards you because see here we have trapped. So um, this is just being kind of confined. You know, it's a feeling of being trapped, maybe with that anger. For some, it could be that you've been carrying a lot of burdens. Wow, look at this depletion, burdens and anger so this might not be for all of you but if you feel like you've been caught you've been carrying any form of burden any form of resentment anger depletion of energy maybe just even other people have been feeding you know like in a negative sense into your life and it feels like you've been confined i feel like this is you taking your power back and really being able to to manifest or this is where you're heading this is what you're attracting but i am getting that for some it's going to depend on how much you're willing to do as well it's going to depend on your own energy because i feel for some it's a situation that with the individuality here and denial um it's kind of like maybe some of you are in denial within yourself or you have been in the past and so the more that you can be honest with yourself and maybe go through that shadow work then you regain your sense of individuality and because of that you are able to really see the truth of whatever you've been in denial about if that makes sense so it's kind of like um, like layers of the situation, you know, so if something keeps replaying in your life, it's actually a form of denial subconsciously or unconsciously. And this might be revealed to you in order for you to see clearly how can you manifest what you want, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, it could be more straightforward for others of you, you might just be finding that you're feeling better, you're feeling more empowered. We do have here the complicated number 11 complicated. We have listening, it says here, darkness does not always equate to evil, light does not always look uh, bring good. So, yeah, we did have that shadow and light here too. Let's see what else. And then we'll get a few tarot. So what else, Spirit, are we manifesting in the collective here? What are we attracting? What is next? Wow, we have the Sacred Union. So, yeah, we do have the Romance card that came out. So some of you with partnership and romance, you are drawing towards you a, um, a Sacred Union. Okay, so if this is something that you want and you are really looking for love here, I really feel, look, that we have the Shadow Queen. So another card about Shadow. It says you're acquiring knowledge, insecurity, and manipulation. So this may not be that you're actually, you know, manipulated here or manipulating, but I'm getting a few things. I just feel like it's more about um, taking a look at our shadows. And so if we're afraid of looking at our shadows, then, you know, we do end up kind of repeating these types of things here, reflection. So there's just something about being trapped in the shadow or there's something about being trapped kind of in this Either you have been manipulated by somebody or you have been trapped, like you haven't had your own sense of individuality here, or it could even be other people around you have been making you feel this way. And it's, it's just like really breaking free from this. So I feel like some of you, what you're manifesting is a higher love or is a sacred union, but it's almost like spirit wants you to know that um, this is going to happen once you're able to see the truth, whatever that means. And we have the Keeper of the Scales, Fairness and Balance. So kind of like the Justice card here too. And we have Listening. So look at that, the Lady of the Mirror. Wow, Reflection and Non-Judgment. So it's a pretty clear message here. We have two things about a mirror. So maybe some of you want to do like um, some mirror work or like something to shift your energy, maybe looking at yourself, really not judging yourself for certain things, or assessing like how have other people been triggering you, same kind of thing here. I don't know, it's just really a feeling of lurking in the shadows, what have we been kind of suppressing. And so in terms of what we are manifesting, it is more in the realm of romance and love. 
but it's also going to require equality of some sort or not this one but the uh, the other one here wherever it went the keeper of the scales So let's just get a few more here. I'm going to use the Halloween deck and then we'll. So, anything else that we are manifesting here or attracting to us in the collective? Yeah, beautiful. We have the light after the darkness. We have another card very similar acceptance and equality. So, this is a really strong message here about acceptance, about um, equality, something about. I want to confirm that with the tarot because I feel like it could even be like coming into compromise with people around us. It's like there's a complicated energy here, something that feels unlocked or, or locked, I should say. Um, like being able to integrate both the shadow and the light within yourself will automatically kind of attract people who are on the same vibration. So it's kind of like if you are not feeling that way about yourself, you're attracting people who are going to treat you that way and vice versa. So it's, it's more of a feeling of um, once you step into true authenticity, like raw self-love here and acceptance, this is going to be when it's all going to be kind of revealed more for you and you're, you're taking the power of your life with the alchemy. And some of you, this is the light after the darkness. It's the dawn. So it's like, this is kind of a feeling too, this concealment. There's something about the light and the dark with the moth here and the, and the owl. It's like the darkness is dissipating and we're rising you know like a phoenix rising almost so i feel like there's going to be a lot of um evolving here we have the skeleton as well so strength this also reminds me of like stripping down and being vulnerable like stripping down to the bear here um all right let's get a few yeah here's the death so the eternal cycle begins here So tell me a little bit about, um, let's see, I just want to clarify a few of these. Well, let's just get the main thing that we are to go along with this. What is, where are we at in the collective here? What are we calling towards us? What are we manifesting? Beautiful. The spiritual renewal, the star. Yeah, exactly. So there's a, a feeling of renewing, a feeling of renewal, a feeling of hope being renewed. And if you don't feel that way right now, this could be a message that you're, you're leading towards this path or you need to lead towards this path to really allow yourself to be kind of cleansed and renewed here spiritually. Because um, I feel like the star is also leading to this sacred union because I also see it as hope and I also see it as like the stars are aligning here. So the light is definitely after the darkness. So if some of you have been through a difficult time where you feel like you have been this person, you've been this woman uh, or man or whatever, or you've been kind of trapped here, I do think that a new path is going to be revealed for you and you are going to see clearly the light is going to be shining here um, coming in. So we have the eight of wands, speedy travel. So it could actually be travel. Some of you are manifesting a situation that you're going to be traveling maybe moving very quickly could also be communication here and here we have the devil so we have another shadow aspect it's like we have the shadow versus the light here so tell me about the sacred union anything else for the collective here what's coming in we have, so here we do have the Two of Cups at the bottom, Union. We have the Four of Cups, Contemplating and Boredom. And we have the Hierophant, Traditional Values. What's going to be revealed? What was soon hidden from you will soon be revealed. Oh, here's the Moon. We have the chariot. Yeah, look at that, justice. So there's so many parallels in this reading of the same energies are coming through. So, okay, so I feel like what's happening here, there's definitely, I'm definitely getting a specific message that some of you, there's travel. So you're either moving or traveling or someone's traveling towards you or you're going to maybe even um, meet somebody on a travel or you're just traveling yourself, you know, for pleasure or you're just kind of getting out there more. You are... 
I don't know, there's some form of fulfillment involving movement and travel. It could also just be emotional, metaphorical travel. But with the moon, justice, the keeper of the scales here, and the concealment and the moon here, same thing as well. There is some form of the justice is, is revealing the truth. So some form of truth is going to be revealed for you. And I feel like it's it's going to come in the form of like, this is Libra energy, this is Pisces. So it's very, or Cancer, this is very much of a contrast here. It's like really coming into logic over um, the darkness. Like, how should I say? Like, there's... You're not going to be questioning so much what is real and there's more of a truth coming to the surface here that's going to bring justice. So if you're waiting for like, let's say you're waiting for a situation to resolve or you feel confused about something, I don't feel like you're going to be in the dark for very much longer about whatever this is for you. And I feel like this is going to bring you a lot of clarity in whatever way that is. But I feel like the the main thing here is that there's this is about self-work too with the devil, the four of cups here. Could have been a rejection. I feel like because the Four of Cups could be somebody who does feel very rejected. They feel left out emotionally. They feel very complacent. I believe this is Cancer energy um, as well. So it's it's kind of a feeling of not being loved or not feeling wanted or just em deep emotional wounds. And so this is this could be somebody else too that you've been connecting to, depending. But this is definitely just a shadow aspect that I feel is not going to be much longer. You know, it's not going to be in the depths much longer and there's a coming into more equality and self-love and this is bringing spiritual renewal but also it's bringing for some it is bringing a traditional connection or something that's going to be of a higher love because the hierophant can be about a higher love too it's not about these old rejection issues or things that have been tucked away hidden emotions it's about coming into um with the sacred union it is sacred which is the hierophant so it's more of like a sacred partnership or you're attracted in this. Even if it's not coming towards you right now, your energy and your vibration is actually attracting what you want towards you with the fulfillment and with this here too. But you're kind of healing these old wounds emotionally here for a lot of you. And this is a reminder that your own reflection is the most important thing here too and how other people are showing you who you are. So things are going to start lifting though is the main thing and you are the alchemist of your life here. So you're overcoming challenges, but in some situation that has been either confusing for you or unjust to you, or maybe you yourself, you've just been in the murky waters about something. You've been just feeling confused about what is something it is coming out. And I think it's going to lead towards movement. So it's like if we've been stuck in something for a long time and we've been in this bird in the cage, it's going to start moving. So I guess what you're manifesting primarily is a higher love. You are manifesting self-love, um, spiritual renewal, overcoming whatever challenges have been blocked. Some of you are definitely going to be traveling in terms of the chariot is your destiny as well. You could be maybe embarking on your true life's purpose, your true life's path here. Any complicated locked situation, I feel um, you, you are finding the key to kind of unlock that here within yourself. And if you have shadow work that you've been having to navigate or an obsessive energy or something that has been kind of tethering you, even manipulation of other people, you are being able to see clearly in yourself. You're being the judge of yourself, too, for some of you about how can you become a better version and how can you really align to your path. So let's get the final card. I'm going to use this wolf deck that I haven't used in a really long time. What is the last message? for the collective what's coming in for us <laughs> look at that we have fulfillment the same words we have fulfillment um, and fulfillment so it says here all your hopes dreams and wishes will now come true total success in your life you have earned the success your diligence and hard work is now being rewarded a feeling of accomplishment wow and then we also have leadership. So you will either assume or be appointed to a position of leadership. And this will be your way of serving others. Others could be seeking your advice um, or support. That could also be the Hierophant too. So it's kind of a dual message. If you're not looking for love, or it could go al along with that here too. Some of you are stepping into a Hierophant's position in which you're going to be teaching other people. You're going to be leading other people. And it's a very clear message that this is your time now. You know, with all these cards, a star... If you have been in a difficult time, just know that your wishes will be coming true because you're being rewarded for it, which is justice too. So anything that has been unfair, it's like you're reaping the rewards of um, Dharma now. You're reaping the rewards of 
things that have gone, things that you were able to withstand. I'm also getting to with the skeleton, like some of you feel um, very strong, you know, with bones, you're very strong. And you've also gone through a lot, like, it's kind of like a death too, because there's a skeleton here. And this death as well, like a death and a rebirth, you know, two skeletons. So very much of like this um, cycle that's really, really transforming at a deep, like maybe plutonic level for, for some of you here. So yeah, that's what you're manifesting. So definitely fulfillment coming in, alchemy, things are definitely shifting and expect some form of justice to a situation, a complicated situation, or just the own the, the depths of your subconscious here are going to be unwound for you to see the truth and how you can you how can you really become a leader in your own life. So I hope this could help you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um have a great weekend and much love. Weekend and